Now we are going to do the second sum. Waking up time on Sunday class 4A. So 4A students, the waking up time only given in the chat. Okay. Class 4A students on Sunday, their waking up time as given in the what? Bar graph. Okay. That means mostly Sunday, that means Sunday means everyone uh, get up late. Everyone gets up late. So the students also get up late only on a Sunday because every day they are going to the school. That is what they are getting so tired. So all the students of class 4A, the waking time, uh, time is given in the what bar graph. Now look at the uh, bar graph very clearly. Now you understand the information also very clearly. So uh, the bar graph always I to, uh, told you represent the information. So represent the information. Uh, very clearly means we are using bar graph or pictograph or some other circle graphs. Now we are going to see only the bar graph here. See this is time. Time I have taken in x axis and number of students I have taken in y axis. So waking up time on Sunday class this is the title I, and already I have told you x axis and y axis it's it comes under a label. It comes under a label. So x axis 1 centimeter. x axis 1 centimeter is equal to what? 1 unit. And y axis 1 centimeter is equal to that is 2 unit. It is very clearly understand. So I have given some spaces because of the clear understanding and also it looks uh, very neat. That is the only reason I am given some space and draw the what? Bar graph. So first, uh, first one is yellow color uh, what? what vertical bar graph vertical bar so it is a yellow color vertical bar so it is it it, um, it means 6 a.m so you have to find out how many students wake up at 6 o'clock that's 6 a.m that's four students wake up at 6 o'clock on sunday the name means the total name of the students we can call it as class 4 a students so class 4 a students wake up on sunday at 6 o'clock now we are going to see how many students wake up at 6 o'clock on Sunday. That means 4 students in class 4A, 4 students. So wake up at 6 o'clock on Sunday. Okay, 6 o'clock. How many students wake up at 6 o'clock on Sunday? Class 4A students at 6 o'clock wake up at how many students wake up at 6 o'clock? 4 students. So this is the vertical graph. You start with from sorry, we start from the x-axis to y-axis. So I shaded in yellow color. So yellow color vertical bar represent 6 a.m. On, on Sunday, 6 a.m. 4 students wake up at class 4 a. That is what that is that is uh, that is a clear information from the what vertical bar graph. That means 6 a.m. How many students wake up at 6 a.m. How many students wake up at 6 a.m. How many students means 4 students 6 a.m. That means Sunday 6 a.m. How many students wake up at 4 students wake up at 6 a.m. on Sunday in class 4a. Next 6.30 a.m. How many students wake up at 6 students. It is represent this vertical bar represent blue color 6.30 a.m. On Sunday 6.30 a.m. 6 students wake up at wake up at 6.30 a.m. So on Sunday, 6 students wake up at 6.30 a.m. Next, 7 a.m. On Sunday, seven, uh, how many students? That is, uh, this vertical bar represents brown color. So it uh, comes between 8 and 10. That means 9 students that means 9 students wake up at 7 o'clock on Sunday. Nine students wake up at 7 a.m. on Sunday. And 7.30 a.m. How many students wake up at 7.30? 10 students wake up at 7.30. 7.30 a.m. How many students wake up at 10 students? 10 students. 10 students on Sunday 10 students wake up at 7 30 a.m. So this vertical bar this vertical bar represented in green color and next one is 8 a.m. So how many students wake up at 8 o'clock that is how many students 8 students 8 students. Next, 
8 30 am how many students wake up at 8 30 am 8 30 am on sunday that is two students two students so this is very important at that, at that is what I represent here. So yellow color 6 a.m. Blue color vertical bar. Yellow color vertical bar 6 a.m. And blue color vertical bar 6.30 a.m. Brown color vertical bar 7 a.m. Green color vertical bar that is 7.30 a.m. And uh, 8 a.m. That is red color vertical bar represent 8 a.m. And uh, what is this? Black color vertical bar that is 8.30 a.m. So it all comes under this time taken. Uh, the time I have taken in x-axis. And number of students I've taken in y-axis. So this is the title and x-axis and y-axis. It comes under a label. So I think so you understand the bar graph, all the information is very clearly. So what is the question? Now we are going to analyze the question. What time do most students wake up on Sunday? Most of the students wake up on Sunday at what time? This is the question. That means but what is this? 7.30 a.m. because 10 students. So the highest number of the students is 10. So 10 students. What time? 10 students. That means what is that time? That is, what is this? 7.30 a.m. 7.30 a.m. Most of the students. That means number of students is what? 10 students. See at what time? At what time do most students wake up on Sunday? That means tens. This is the this vertical bar. Vertical bar graph is so high. It's so tall. So that is what 7:30 a.m. So 7:30 a.m. Most of the students wake up at. Well, so sorry, most of the students wake up at 7.30 a.m. on Sunday. So, how many students? 10 students. So, this is the higher, higher number of students. So, most of the students wake up at 7.30 a.m. on Sunday. Because this is a very tall bar, tall bar graph. Next, how many students wake up at 7 a.m.? How many students means? That is 7 a.m. That is 9 students. How many students wake up at 7 a.m.? 9 students. I clearly mention nine students at what time do only two students wake up two students that is very clearly mentioned it is what two students 8 30 a.m only two students wake up at 8 30 8 30 a.m and how many less students wake up at six as compared to eight so six a.m how many students that is four students and our next one is as compared to 8 a.m so 8 a.m how many students eight students so how many less students mean you have to subtract from 8 a.m. 8 a.m. means so 8 a.m. that means 8 8 a.m. how many students 8 students 8 students and 6 a.m. that is how many students 4 students so you have to subtract answer is 4 so how many students four students that is how many less students wake up at 6 a.m as compared to 8 a.m that is four students four students that is 6 a.m only four students wake up but 8 a.m 8 a.m eight students wake up this is the what greatest number so you have to subtract from the greatest number to smallest number that is 8 minus 4 you can get 4 so how many less students only they are asking so 6 a.m only four students 8 a.m. 8 students that means 6 a.m. 4 students are less that is what they asked you how many less students wake up at 6 a.m. as compared to 8 a.m. 8 sorry 8 a.m. that means 4 students less students what less students what 4 Less students, what? 4. That is less students, 4. That is, uh, they wake up at, on a, uh, that 4 students wake up, on, 4 students only wake up at 6 a.m. But in 8 a.m., 8 students. So, 4 students are less. 4 students are less compared as, compared as 8 a.m. to 6 a.m. This is the exact clear information about the bar graph. So, waking up time on Sunday class 4A. This is the title. So, I am giving all the clear explanation with the help of the vertical 
bar graph i think now you understand the concept very clearly so again i'll tell you so this is what this is uh, this is uh, x axis and this is y axis time is taken x axis and uh, number of students taken as y axis then uh, what is this 6 am 6:30 am 7 am 7:30 am 8 am and 8:30 am and at here what is this x axis equal to 1 cm is equal to 1 unit and y axis 1 cm is equal to 2 unit x axis and y axis combined together as a label and this is the title so different color i mentioned so yellow color 6 am and blue color 6:30 and brown color 7 am and 7:30 green color and 8 am red color and 8:30 black Uh, black 8:30 a.m. is black color. So this is the different colors I shaded in vertical bar graph. And 6 a.m. four students, 6:30 a.m. six students, 7 a.m. nine students, 6 a.m. that is four students very clearly, and 6:30 that is six students, and 7 a.m. that is nine students, and 7:30 a.m. ten students. This is a very tallest graph, and uh, number of students also high, and 8 a.m. that is what. Eight students, eight a.m. Eight students, and what is this? Only two students in eight thirty a.m. It is shaded in black color. So these are the questions I answer very clearly. So do most students wake up on Sunday? That is seven thirty a.m. Number of students is ten. And how many students wake up at seven a.m.? That is nine students. Seven a.m. It's very clearly mentioned nine students. At what time do only two students? That is what at eight thirty. A.M. Only two students wake up at 8:30 A.M. on Sunday. And how many less students wake up at 6 A.M. as compared to 8 A.M. means 8 A.M. eight students and 6 A.M. four students. So they ask only the less students. So 8 minus 4 we can get 4. So less students is 4. So less students wake up at 6 A.M. as compared to 8 A.M. It is only the four students. This is the right answer for the questions. And thus that's all handling data. And class four, uh, class four, uh, what? Uh, all the chapters are over in class 4 thank you so much